they go. So clearly there's been some kind of kill. Whether the, oh, you see it's listening now. Stop to listen. This is why this drone perspective is so important. It's not making any difference to that dog's ability to hear. There's another one there. Two more. They're all listening for the others. Connor, tell them where you heard the others. I've got no idea where Connor is in relation to these dogs, of course. Right, Jamie's got another nice view. Let's go down to her. Even with the drone, they still managed to disappear and just listen to the exciting squeaks. They've made a kill. They've already caught something. I'm not sure what it was. It's already essentially finished. And they're just tugging a little bit, chewing on whatever remains. I have absolutely no idea what it was that they caught. It happens so fast with wild dogs. I think that's a scrub hair. That's a, that's a scrub hair, isn't it? That's an ear. Yeah. That's a scrub hair head. So already their first scrub, heel, scrub hair kill of the day. And I think what we've learned with the drone is just how much of a feature scrub hairs play in, these, in the life of wild dogs. These poor scrub hairs, anyone that happens to run into their path, and I was watching the footage from yesterday from the drone, the way that that poor panicked scrub hair ran straight into the waiting jaws of the wild dog. It didn't really have a chance. There were just wild dogs everywhere. <laughs> And also goes to show what skilled hunters wild dogs are because scrub hairs are not slow. They are very, very rap quick animals.